Hey you guys, it's Megan. It's so wonderful to see you on this Tuesday morning. It is so quiet in my house because my parents are back at work. Today is my sister's first day of 11th grade. I don't even know how she's that old, but it's so weird. There is like not a sound in this entire house except for me speaking to this camera. So um, I'm feeling a little bit weird, feeling a little bit sad. Um, so I thought I would do a haul and this is obviously stuff that I didn't buy just this morning, <laughs> but it's stuff that I've been accumulating over the past like week that I wanted to show you guys. So it's mostly beauty, a few random little things at the end and um, let's just dive into it. So I went to Ulta and um, I had their new point system is awesome because your points add up to get dollars off. So I had $3 off and then I had a $3.50 off 10 coupons. So I wanted to get um, two nail polishes and then I ended up with an extra thing as well. So the extra thing that I found was this S Factor Truly Lasting Color Shampoo that shines, softens, and seals. And this was half off, so it was $13.25. And I had seen Elle Fowler talk about this brand a lot. Um, when she did like hair videos or like favorites or something but I had never actually seen it and when I saw this in the sales section and it was the truly lasting color which you guys know I dye my hair um, it was really intriguing to me so for half off I thought I would give it a shot the reviews online that I read of it were really really positive so I'm excited to see how this works and I hope that it doesn't break me out so that was my little random thing that I got and then the other two are nail polishes that I went to Ulta with the intention of purchasing. So the most exciting one, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have this in my life again, is OPI Lincoln Park After Midnight. After, at midnight. Lincoln Park at midnight. So it's not Lincoln Park at dark, which is basically black and it's a cream. This, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but it has a really subtle silver sheen to it. This is the only nail polish in my life that I have used up completely. So this is a repurchase nail polish for me, which is insane. Um, and I just love it. I've been missing it a lot, and especially with fall and winter coming up, which is where when I wear it the most, I needed it in my life. So I got this, but this is a color that I wear all year round. It is my all-time favorite nail polish. And then I got this polish by Revlon. It is there. It's hard to read because it's white on white. Color Stay Gel NV in number 510 Sure Thing. And I had been wanting a cream white nail polish and um, randomly Tara Baby Z talked about this on her video saying that this was even better than the OPI one that she had. So sure thing from Revlon, I got this. I wore it for a few days until I got kind of bored of it, um, but it definitely was really nice. Pretty opaque in two coats and it was really awesome. So these two are great nail polishes and the OPI one, if you haven't tried Lincoln Park at midnight, try that instead of Lincoln Park at dark. I think it's a lot prettier. Okay, then I have made three Sephora purchases in the past like week or a little bit over it. First, I made an online purchase and it was for this awesome set. And unfortunately, this is no longer available. It's permanently out of stock, but it's the Ole Henriksen Oh La La um, Look at Her Glow set. So this is a $85 value. The retail price was 44 and then they had it half off for 22. So I got two of them. It comes with the African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser, the Truth To Go Wipes, the Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil, and then a half fluid ounce of the Truth Serum, which is why I bought it. Because just getting a full ounce total with both of these of the Truth Serum for $44 is less than the retail. So it comes in this cute little pouch and it has like positive messages inside and then it comes with all of the products so it's kind of hard to see but it comes there goes the oil 10 wipes of the truth to go then it comes with like I said the half ounce of the truth serum which I'm so excited to have in my life again I love that stuff and then um, this is the African red tea foaming cleanser which I haven't used a foaming cleanser 
probably since high school, but I heard good things on the reviews of this, so I got that. And then the thing that fell is the Ole Henriksen, obviously, um, Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil with active vitamin C and A and omega th 3, 6, and 9. So I have yet to try that. The only thing that I've tried in this set before was the Truth Serum, and um, it was just cool to be able to try out other products. So if the other set, if I don't like these, I'll give the, those products away, but keep the Truth Serum because that's really why I bought it. So I got two of those um, sets online. I wish I would have bought like way more, but I was trying to be good. And then I got some really good um, samples. So the um, the free three free samples. One of them was the Kat Von D Unlock It Makeup Remover Wipes, and it came with two. And I thought this would be really awesome to put in my travel bag. Like this is, you can tell that there's like two huge wipes in there. So I thought that was a really cool sample. Then they had the Bumble and Bubble Bumble Surf um, Shampoo and Conditioner, and I had tried this out before, but I was unsure of it, so I want to try it out again, and they still have this sample I saw on their website, because I'm still so stalking it. And then this fragrance sample sounded interesting. It's the Nest White Sandalwood Perfume. So let's smell it, because I haven't smelled this yet. Oh, it smells like alcohol right now. Uh, right now I'm giving it an eh. It smells similar to a Tom Ford fragrance, but it has, it really does have like a back note of like an alcoholy smell. It smells pretty good, but I'm not sure if I will actually want to use that. Then this was awesome. This was a free like sample code. And this, I thought they gave me the full-size bottle, but this is the Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. And this is not the full bottle, even though it comes in this amazing box. This is um, 0.3 fluid ounces, and the full size is one fluid ounce. So it comes in this nice box, which I thought was really cool. So this is the size of the foundation, and this is in light to medium skin? Let me see. Yeah, number two, light to medium, but it was the only shade that they were providing. So it comes like this, and then it has a dropper to put on into that, and then it has like an explanation of how to use it and stuff. So I thought this was a really cool sample to get that, um, it's like giant, because sometimes those sample codes aren't like the best, but this is a really cool sample, and I believe they still have this. So I'll um, type out the code down below, so if you wanted to try this, you can. So that was my Sephora online order. Oh wait, I also got the Jack Black um, lip balm, natural mint and shea butter because I'm almost out of my lip balm that I use at my vanity and um, I wanna have one of these at my vanity and one in my purse and I already have one in my purse so this is gonna go on my vanity. Then I went to um, Sephora in my mall and one of the things I'm missing the reason I went there was to get this particular thing. Just one second. So I went to Sephora to get a small Z palette because I wanted to take it on vacation with me. So I got their small Z palette. It's so cute. I love the stripes of it. And obviously these shadows don't come in it, but these are the ones that I put in it. Um, it's magnetic. It's really nice. And then um, it comes with a bunch of good stuff. It comes with a little like thing to explain how you can depot your shadows. Then it comes with a bunch of magnets, both circular and like rectangular, which is really, really awesome to have that variety. But then the best thing that it comes with is this depotting tool. So it has like a flat, like paddle rowboat edge and then a sort of curved and a little bit pointed edge. So this was awesome not only for depotting but also to get the stopper out of my lip gloss because I would have never been able to get the stopper out of that Rimmel Stay Glossy Gloss without this thing. So this was awesome. And in the Z palette that I had got a few years ago, this did not come with it. So I thought that was really cool. I'm not sure if it only comes with Sephora Z palettes or with all of them, but I love it. It's the perfect size. Um, 
just really really nice so I was so excited to get that and I was happy to be able to just pick it up at my store and not have to order it online and then the other thing I got that day was um, the half fluid ounce of the Kate Somerville exfoliate because I had tried to sample I was so so impressed and this small thing so this is like it looks like it should be like five dollars this was twenty two dollars so it's definitely not cheap but a little bit goes a long way and a sample that I got it lasted me four applications so this will probably last me a really long time but I love it because lactic acid I find really works for my skin and that is the main ingredient in this so I love this it is so expensive but it does wonders for my skin so that's what I got that time at Sephora then we went to the Christiana Mall in Delaware, Newark, Delaware. Oh my god, this place is literally heaven. There is no tax, no sales tax on anything. It's wonderful. Their mall is insane. It has every store you can imagine. It is so great there. So we went there and I had two more things that I wanted to get from Sephora and I thought that it would be a great opportunity to get these things that were sort of like basics and not have to pay tax. So I repurchased the um, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These are amazing. This is 28 pads and it's $14. Usually to buy a bigger size it would be cheaper, more economical, but for these, so these are $14 for 28 pads, so 24, can't do math, clearly I've been out of school for too long, so they're 50 cents per pad if you do the math, and then if you buy the 60 pad um, thing, so 60 pads, it's $30, so it's still 50 cents per pad, so for me to get these smaller um, containers and maybe have to repurchase a little bit more, it doesn't save any more money to buy the big one and I am afraid that, uh, that they'll dry out. And this is also really awesome for travel this size. So I repurchased the small size of that. And then I'm really, really excited about this. This is the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Auburn. So this is not the brow whiz like everyone freaking loves and doesn't stop talking about and I'm sure that it's a great product but as I was comparing the different brow products that I had been looking into before going to Sephora and then I was looking at them side by side I was comparing the Sephora brand um, retractable which was $13 then the Anastasia brow whiz which was $21 and then this which was $23 so you would think I would have bought one of the cheaper ones but this, um, $23 for the Perfect Brow Pencil has 0 .034 ounces of product. And it comes in a pencil form, so one that you would have to sharpen. And then it comes with a really awesome spoolie on this side. So this has 0 .034 ounces of product. The Brow Wiz and the Sephora brand had 0 .00 three ounces of product. This has ten times more product for two dollars compared to the Brow Wiz. So that was basically a no-brainer because this has really awesome reviews on Sephora's website. It was the perfect color and when I washed it off this one lasted longer than the Brow Wiz did. So um, if you want to save a little bit of money and get something that lasts hopefully a much longer time than the brow whiz. Try out the Perfect Brow Pencil. I've been using it for the past two days. It's wonderful. It's a pretty hard texture and the color works perfectly for my hair because it is um, a really nice reddish color which is perfect to have in the auburn shade. This spoolie is so nice. It's like stiff and it blends it out perfectly. I love this and you guys know I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade which is much much creamier and this is much like stiffer and it's it makes a more natural brow for me so I love this and I don't know people always complain about the brow is running out maybe they should try the perfect brow pencil instead so I love that and then when I got up to the register it was like angels came sinking down from the Sephora clouds because I reached 
VIB. It's like blinding you guys. I can see it. So um, it says, welcome to VIB. Your beauty addiction has officially paid off. And this is the card. I haven't taken it off yet. And then it comes with three cards inside. It like explains, I guess, like the membership and stuff. And then it comes with three cards. So it's a code for free shipping, a code or um, little card for 10% off online or in store, and then a complimentary makeover with an expert beauty advisor. So um, those are all really awesome things. But the annoying thing about it is that you can't use these codes in conjunction with like getting a free product on their website. So you can either choose to get the free shipping or to get like an, an additional sample with like typing in a code. So I think that's kind of shitty of them to be quite frank. Um, I wish that they had like this kind of thing like once you reach VIB it like sort of programmed into the Sephora system and automatically gave you free shipping or automatically gave you 10% off for your first purchase. Um, I don't know. I think that's kind of annoying, but I'm really excited. Let me take the card off because it's so like nice. My other one was like just paper. This is like plastic. So I think that's really cool. I know that it's not like a great thing to be like leveling up in these different reward systems because that means you're spending a lot of money, but I'm so excited. I can't help it. So that's all the stuff from Sephora. Then also at the Christiana Mall, oh my god, I was so excited to see that they had a MAC store. And I've been getting more into MAC eyeshadows. I had a quad that I won from the Current Customs giveaway like two years ago, but I've been getting more into it. I've been looking at swatches all the time and just trying to figure out what shades that I wanted to add to my collection. And once I figured out that this mall didn't have any tax on stuff, I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity to get some of the shades that I've been wanting. So so I also ordered one online and they're all living in the same palette that I bought at that mall but they come in individual things like this because I got the pan form. The pan form of MAC shadows are $10 while the pots are $16. So if you're going to end up depotting them anyhow, I would say just get the pan because it saves $6 and a lot of hassle. So I got three shadows like you can see and I also got a four pan palette which is eight dollars so I'm so excited about this this is going to be my matte Mac quad so the quads look like this I love the packaging of them they're um, plastic like pretty heavy-duty plastic and they're magnetic so I got the shades soft brown kid and quarry OMG I'm so happy with these three so um, soft brown kid and quarry I had to order Qu um, kid on eBay and I saw on Mac's website that they are getting kid in the pan form it says coming soon so I'm not sure when that is but um, that is quarry then kid and soft brown soft brown every freaking person on YouTube talks about. I've always wanted to see it and to have it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, warm toned blending color, lid color, transition color, anything you want. It is beautiful. Kid is like a perfect neutral mid-tone brown. And then Quarry, I the reason that I bought this is because I read online that it is a dupe for Urban Decay Tees, which is a shade I really have wanted. But um, obviously Urban Decay shadows are more expensive than just getting the pan in MAC form. So I'm wearing Quarry all over my lid today and then um, um, I want to say Satin Tote but it's Soft Brown blended out. And I love, love, love this. And obviously you can see there's an empty space. Um, I, I'm not sure what shadow I'm going to get there. Probably like a highlight color of some sort or a liner color but definitely a matte and I love those so basically if you add it all it all up I spent $38 including the palette so 
I love those shadows and it was so cool because I don't have a Mac store where I live so it was awesome to go in and I knew exactly what I wanted and the lady helped me right away and there was no tax so that was so awesome and the last place I went to was Walmart and we went there last night and that was like sort of a random spur of the moment thing because my sister needed a new lunchbox. Of course, we didn't end up with a lunchbox, but I ended up with all this stuff. So um, one beauty thing that I'm wearing today that I have been looking for everywhere, but they never have it, is the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner in Ultra Black. And so this says H2O Proof, and that's a different packaging than what the other ones had, so I don't know if this is like a new packaging or what, but it's a liquid liner. And Lisa Lisa D1 had talked about this a few months ago and also has uh, mentioned it recently. So I really wanted to try to find it and it like caught my eye and I was like, oh my god, they have it, I need to buy it. So it's a like felt tip, but it's not very like bendy. It's not bendy at all. Um, and when I was swatching it last night, okay, it's a little bit bendier than it was last night. When I was swatching it, do you see how it, like, sort of, I don't know, it's not, like, fluidly black all the way down. Um, it sort of, like, fades off. So I was worried when I would use it that it would look bad. Um, but I'm wearing it today and it worked really, really nicely. This was around $3, I think, from Walmart or cheaper, I can't remember but it's in color 881 Ultra Black, and I am going to do a product updates video probably in the next week, um, so I will update you guys on this. I'll try it out some more, but I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out, and I've been wanting a liquid liner, but they discontinued the Ico Skinny Liquid Liner that I really loved and wanted to repurchase, so um, I got this, and I like it so far from the first day impressions. Then, um, Kind of a boring thing, but I got the Colgate Optic White um, Toothpaste Duo Pack. I've loved this and I'm almost out of my tube since you guys recommended this to me for a completely white toothpaste that is pretty minty, so I got a duo of it because, you know, I'm always going to need toothpaste one day or another. And then the final two things from Walmart are super exciting. They are delicious smelling candles. First is this one. It's the Better Homes and Gardens Golden Maple Waffles, and it says limited edition on it. I burned this last night. Literally, I feel like I am sitting in front of a huge plate of Belgian waffles with tons of syrup and butter on them. Oh my lord, it is insane. So like I said, I burned it last night all the way to the edge and it had an amazing throw. My mom could smell it all the way downstairs in our house. It is crazy and it smells very good to me. I think that you would have to be in the mood for this scent because it is so strong. But I am so impressed. I love it. Oh my god, I want waffles so bad right now, and it reminds me of Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec because she loves waffles with whipped cream, but this is just amazing, amazing. And then the next one is very exciting as well. This is the Mainstays Fire Roasted Marshmallow. And when I saw this, I was really excited, but I had smelled one from Bath and... Or Better Homes and Gardens, I'm sorry, um, a marshmallow like Fireside, and it smelled awful, so I didn't have very high hopes. This is perfection. If you are a fan of summertime s'mores or um, marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works, this is a perfect dupe for it, and this three wick is $3.50 from Walmart. It is a perfect, perfect dupe. So I am not going to buy the Bath & Body Works um, scent of like the Fireside Marshmallow this year because I am so content with this and seriously, it saves so much money. So these are two awesome candles for fall and um, I'm just so excited. So that was my haul, mostly beauty products and some randoms at the end. Um, you know Walmart, you just always buy like the most random stuff. But um, I have some exciting news 
For you guys who care about my job hunt, I uh, have been hired by a retail store, so it's not like a real job or anything, but it is better than nothing. I'm very, very thankful to have been offered a position because I really, really need to work. I'm, especially now that the house is completely empty, Rachel's not home during the day, I'm gonna go stir crazy if I don't have anything to do. So I'm really, really thankful. I am so excited to start working. We're gonna have our orientation this week. So I don't know what that means for my video consistency. I'm going to try to make as many videos as I can like normal, um, but I'm sure that you guys will understand, but I just wanted to just throw that out there and um, explain myself if you don't see me as much as normal, but like I said, we're just going to have orientation this week and then obviously I'll be getting my hours and know all that kind of stuff soon. So I'm very excited. I'm really, really so thankful, even though it is just a part-time minimum wage job. Like seriously, I'm like really emotional about having a job finally. So um, yeah, I'm just really, really thankful something finally fell into place. So it's a really good first, like first step and start for me getting a full-time real job. So um, yeah, I didn't mean to get all teary-eyed. Why does that always happen? But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It was really exciting to get all this stuff. Um, I know that I was supposed to be on a makeup no-buy, but the eyeshadows, I was gonna buy them anyhow, and so to get no tax on them and whatever. But um, I'm gonna try to go hardcore back on my no-buy, and I'm actually going to film a Project Use It Up update, um, inventory, um, how my progress is going, and goals video next. So um, if you want to check that out, that'll be up before or after this. I'm not sure when I'm going to post them, but yeah, that'll be up either today or tomorrow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!